scenario of life means we cannot live you know, only within these five skandhas. These five skandhas are living together with other beings, depending upon the condition of people around me or people in the entire society. You know, my life also changes, and we need to understand what is the scenery, what is the things happening, and what is the problem, and what might make the situation better or healthier. We have to live in a collected way of things happening outside of ourselves. Our life is, our practice, not living as a hermit escape from the society and live oneself within the deep mountain with that connection with the society or people happening. So the scenario of life is uh, our life is always together with things happening outside ourselves or around me. So the self is together with the scenery. We have to uh, interconnect and work together, cooperate with uh, the things happening in the society. Uchiyamoroshi's teaching, he, he, I read when I was a high school student. He wrote in his first book about what Zazen is. And he, he used the analogy of the earth and atmosphere. He said, uh, when we draw a circle, of about six inches, the thickness of the pencil is the thickness of the atmosphere. But we living beings living on the earth and we, we see the clouds are much higher than ours. And under the cloud, all the different scenery or condition of the world uh, is changing. Sometimes it's very clear and bright and peaceful, but sometimes it's uh, covered with dark clouds, and sometimes we have storms. Underneath the clouds, we need to be influenced by that conditions always changing. To Jamrosh is saying, that is what is happening within our mind. Our mind is only such a shallow space uh, within our life. Our life is much deeper. But we think things happening only within this shallowness is important. But he, what he said is we need to understand even though we have to, we cannot escape from different weathers. But sky is always blue and sun is always shining above the clouds. So don't be moved by the things happening within this atmosphere. But we need to see our life is much deeper and higher, much greater, much larger than what I think this is world. For us, world means the atmosphere and we, are, we have to live underneath the clouds. But uh, beyond the clouds, the sky is always blue and the sun is always uh, shining. That is the first teaching I understood <laughs> when I was 17 years old. And still, that is my basic image of what Zazen is. <laughs>